Deep within the ancient forest, where trees stood tall and mighty, and the animals had migrated to other lands, there existed a peculiar creature, a hybrid between a human and a snake. She was the snake goddess Medea. Her beauty enchanted anyone who gazed upon her, leaving them utterly mesmerized. To maintain her allure, Medea had to draw the souls of young men who fell into her trap. I will willingly offer my art to you! At that moment, Medea would drain their souls entirely, making her look ever youthful and beautiful. Until one day, as Medea was seeking her prey, huh? Medea noticed the young man being attacked by a venomous snake. This will surely be a tasty morsel. As she approached, the snake immediately slithered away. Huh? Thank you for saving me. I'm Liam. Huh? You are quite huh? handsome. Where are you headed? Huh? Huh? Liam explained that he was exploring with his half-brother Ricky, who got separated suddenly. Huh? 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 <laughs> On Ricky's side, he had left Liam, exited the forest, and happily returned to the castle. Huh? It's getting late. You should come to my place. Tomorrow morning, I'll guide you out of here. Liam had no other choice but to follow her. Hmm. Upon reaching her cave... Huh? huh? <laughs> Medea quickly dismissed her attendants. Welcome in! <laughs> Your dinner awaits! <laughs> I'm already full! I have something to confess! I like you! Do you want to give your heart to me? No. Huh? Never before had anyone resisted huh? Medea's seduction. Liam silently left and peacefully slept in a corner, ignoring Medea's huh? anger. The next morning, when Medea woke up, she didn't find Liam anywhere. Just a thank you note huh? stating that he would find his own way out. Medea rushed outside and found Liam's footprints. Huh? She immediately followed them. <sighs> she kept walking and walking until it was dark, and she saw a vast castle huh? ahead. Huh? Here you are! You can't escape now, Liam! <laughs> As Medea sneaked into the castle's gate, huh? she was discovered by two guards. She quickly huh? subdued them. Huh? <laughs> While crawling through the corridors, Medea was spotted by Ricky. Huh? <laughs> Who's there? Stop! Hmm. Hmm? Medea huh? ran and reached a huh? dead end, transforming back into a human. Ricky angrily drew his sword huh? to attack Medea. Stop! Huh? She's a friend, huh? not a thief. Huh? Let's go. Huh? First I saved you, now you <laughs> saved me. A fair deal. <laughs> huh? Why are you here? The forest I lived in was threatened by evildoers, so I had to find a hiding place. And coincidentally, I found myself here. Little did I know it was your castle. Moved by Medea's circumstances, huh? Liam agreed to let her stay and led her to an extremely tidy huh? and neat room with beautiful huh? clothes. Does nobody use this room? This room belonged to a girl who is important to me, but she's no longer with us. Huh? 
Liam's mystery intrigued Medea even more, fueling her determination to steal his heart. Every day, Medea followed Liam, attempting to seduce him, but Liam remained unaffected. One day, Medea followed Liam to a tomb, and her curiosity got the best of her. She saw Liam laying flowers on the grave and crying. It turned out that grave belongs to Liam's late wife, the one who had passed away. And the room Medea was staying in used to be where they read and played together. Medea suddenly felt her actions had lost their meaning. Is Liam's cold demeanor due to this reason? I will play the melody you like. As the flute played, Medea lost control of her body. Huh? It didn't obey her own huh? commands, her human huh? form twisting. Medea was terrified, for if this huh? continued, she would fully transform into a snake. I'm sorry! Hmm? From a distance, Ricky witnessed huh? it all, laughed, and left. The next day, Ricky handed Medea an invitation to a music party that huh? night, hoping she would attend. Huh? If I go, I will huh? reveal my true form. I'm busy. Huh? This might be the last time you see Liam. Why is that? <laughs> Come and find out. That night, Medea decided to go to the party, wearing the clothes of Liam's deceased huh? wife, looking magnificent. Huh? As she entered the party, Liam was preparing to perform his act. The sound of the flute and the accompanying music captivated Medea, and she couldn't help but start dancing. Medea became afraid and tried to find an escape. Close the doors! Yes. Medea couldn't bear it any longer and transformed into a snake. Huh? Destroy the monster! Huh? Mm. Mm. Everything you said was a lie, right? Liam, please listen to me. At first, I didn't plan to take your soul, but after being huh? by your side and getting to know you, huh? your love for your late <laughs> wife, I gave up that intention. <laughs> Stop your nonsense! Medea had no choice but to fight back. Liam stood there witnessing the chaos, remembering the time he spent with Medea, and suddenly he came to his senses. Stop! Huh? Liam, you're siding with her? From now on, the throne will be mine! <laughs> Seeing Ricky's actions infuriated Medea, Medea even more. She went madly towards Ricky. Liam, please wake up! Uh. Medea, I'm sorry for being cold to you, because I love you. You brought a sense of familiarity and happiness that I had lost for so long. But because I didn't want to suffer when loving someone huh? else, I had to act that way. <laughs> Medea poured her entire soul into Liam's mouth, and his body started to glow, his wounds healed. Liam was saved, but it also meant that Medea would no longer stay eternally beautiful. I love you not for your appearance. Medea burst into tears of joy. From then on, the snake goddess Medea and Prince Liam ruled the kingdom together and lived happily ever after. <laughs> the story ends here. Please click the subscribe button on Woa Fairy Tale to discover more exciting and heartwarming stories. <laughs>
Justin went to a strange, desolate kingdom where the people were miserable and hungry. Seeing the strange thing, he stayed in an inn to find out what was happening. If you can't save this kingdom, you can stay here forever. I won't take you any money. Actually, this place used to be very peaceful, but in just one night, the royal palace suddenly disappeared. Huh? Without the king, we were extremely huh? panicked, and robbers arose everywhere. <laughs> As you see, everything got worse, so people were miserable and hungry. Curious about the mysterious story in this kingdom, Justin began to search everywhere while wandering in the forest. Help me! Huh? Is there anyone? Help me! Running towards Help the cry, me. Justin saw a snake tied to a tree in front of a dark castle. Help me! All of them were in flame. Hero, save me! A snake can speak like a human? Unbelievable! Because of his kindness and curiosity, he ran into the flame to escape the snake. Huh? Thank you very much. Actually, I'm not a snake, but Princess Avery of huh? this kingdom. Please, save our royal family. What? You say you're a princess? And this is the palace of the king of this kingdom? What happened to you? It's all about the witch Bruno, who is the prime minister of the kingdom. He used witchcraft to bring the castle to this forest. He even forced me to marry him. My father was enchanted, so he obeyed Bruno and didn't care about me. <laughs> when I refused to marry him, Bruno turned me into a snake for fun. <laughs> and Help tortured me. me in fire Help every me. day until I agreed. Lucky to meet you, so I can be free. Huh? I got it. I am Justin. Since we have a chance to meet each other, I will help you. What should I do to save the king and this kingdom? You have to defeat the powerful wizard Bruno, who controls the whole castle. I will give you a hand. Under the tree in the palace garden is buried a miraculous sword of my family. It can help you open the castle door. <laughs> oh, what a sharp sword! Justin brought the sword to the front door of the castle. He looked around and saw a gap, which was the lock of the castle door. As what the snake said, he took the sword as a key and inserted it into the lock. Then, the castle door opened right away. As soon as he entered, huh? Justin found the king and a strange army, including skeleton soldiers who had been already waiting. Who are you? How dare you break into my castle? Justin noticed that huh? behind the king was a cunning man who was manipulating him. <laughs> Surely that person is Bruno, who the princess has mentioned. I'm Knight Justin. Your Majesty, I have come to awaken you. You are being controlled by that Prime Minister Bruno. Your Majesty, this guy mm. dares to break into the palace and talk nonsense. Please punish him. Guards, put him in jail right now. Not wanting to make trouble for the king, Justin let the soldiers take him away. Mm. He was imprisoned and strictly guarded. Mm. Suddenly, huh? the snake secretly crawled in from the window. Are you okay? Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. When the guards didn't notice, the snake princess gently crawled over and stole the key for Justin. He quickly opened the door to escape and took back the precious sword. My precious sword will be useful to you. Take it with you. After that, Justin followed the snake princess's instruction to enter the castle. Ahead is Bruno's private secret room, which is guarded very carefully. Justin went to the secret room and saw Bruno's skeleton soldiers who looked very cruel. The commander is a skeleton soldier wearing a strange shield. Who are you? How dare you to invade the domain of our master, Sir Bruno? You will have to pay the price for it. Justin was not afraid of a large army of skeleton soldiers. He attacked the commander by slashing at his shield, but the shield was unharmed, only letting out a defeating sound. The strange thing was, the skeleton soldiers were all affected by that sound, even if only for a moment. Justin was very delicate to realize that. They seem to be affected by the sound of this sword attacking that shield. These two are precious treasures. Justin, the sword I gave you has a magical <gasps> ability. Let's do it like this. Hmm. He faced the army, raised his sword, and chanted the spell. 
Magical sword, help me defeat them! Immediately, all the skeleton soldiers turned to dust, leaving only the commander wearing huh? a shield. You, you will have to pay the cost! The skeleton commander rushed and attacked brutally, but Justin calmly fought back. Knowing that he could not fight directly because of the shield, he dodged the commander's sword, then sneaked behind him and slashed him to dust. Only the shield was undamaged. Justin picked it up and happily took it along with him. After defeating the skeleton soldiers, he opened the door of the secret room and stepped inside. Right after that, the cruel witch Bruno appeared in front of him. He got extremely angry. You cursed snake! It was you who led this knight inside to destroy everything. You all have to die to pay for it. Justin attacked Bruno with his sword. However, huh? the witch could quickly dodge, so Justin was unable to reach him. It's not good. I have to change my strategy in order to defeat this witch. Justin cleverly changed his strategy. He no longer attacked, but paid more attention to defense. It was not easy for the wizard Bruno to defeat him, because he had just won the precious shield. But if I just defend, I can't defeat him. What should I do now? <laughs> While thinking, Justin suddenly remembered the strange sound when his sword and shield collided, which caused the skeleton army to be momentarily disabled. Right! Uh -huh. It works against the skeletons. It should work against that witch also. I need to try. Then, he smashed his sword and shield together, creating a loud sound that annoyed the witch. Too noisy! Stop it now! Don't smash them together! Seeing that worked on him, Justin felt excited and kept smashing the sword against the shield to make loud noises. As Bruno was distracted by the sound, he couldn't attack him like before. That sound also had other effective use. It spread very quickly throughout the castle, which made the king and soldiers gradually awaken. They all regained all their memories. I remember huh? everything. It's Bruno who has controlled this whole castle all this time. This sound is coming from his private room. I have to get there now. Meanwhile, Justin was still smashing his sword from his shield to annoy Bruno. He patiently <laughs> waited for his opportunity to come. At that time, Bruno's magical staff suddenly shone. It formed a cage around Bruno to prevent him against the sound that was echoing. I get it! Huh? Justin, destroy Bruno's staff now! All his power stems from that staff! Justin rushed forward to slash Bruno's huh? staff with his sword. Huh? The ruby on the staff slammed into the ground and shattered. Losing huh? the ruby, Bruno's magic all disappeared. Ah, my power! No, why could they know this? It can't be like that! As Bruno's magic was gone, huh? the snake princess huh? returned to the huh? beautiful princess Avery. At that moment, the king led his troops in. Seeing that Avery was back as before, they both felt really happy. Bruno was completely defeated, so he was quickly put into jail. The palace was also returned to its original position. Everyone in the kingdom was so happy. The king then helped the people overcome the difficult situation. His decision was warmly welcomed by all. That kingdom was finally free again. Justin and Avery fell in love with each other. The king was also delighted and agreed with their marriage. Their wedding ceremony took place throughout the kingdom with the congratulations of everyone.